The world saw what the black hole at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius, looked like in May 2022 when astronomers finally unveiled a real image of the star. In 2019, an image of the black hole in the far-off galaxy Messier 87 was taken, and it resembles Sagittarius, a star, though their similarities are undeniable. Messier 87 is much further away, at about 50 million light-years. So why was the image of Sagittarius, a star, taken much later, and why was it so difficult to do? What secrets does this space region hide from us? The mass of the black hole in our galaxy is more than 4 million times that of our Sun. Sagittarius, a star, is located 27,000 light-years from Earth, and finding it in the sky is no easier than spotting a donut on the Moon. Music Given that it formed some 13.6 billion years ago, for almost the same amount of time as the cosmos to expand and mature, scientists believe the Milky Way to be one of the oldest galaxies in the universe. The dwarf galaxy Canis Major and the Milky Way are now colliding as a result of the Milky Way's merger with other galaxies. This is how the Milky Way expanded to a massive 100,000 light-year diameter. It is made up of four massive spiral arms plus a core region, forming a barred spiral galaxy. The Earth is located in one of the quietest places a small arm of Orion, the center of the Milky Way is located far away from our planet at a distance of about 25,800 light years. There, as in the heart of any big city life, is in full swing. But because of the dense cloud of gas and dust, it's difficult to see even with the most modern telescope. But what if we could move our planet there as we'd approach the center of the galaxy? The ring of stars would shrink around us more and more, the Earth's magnetosphere would no longer protect us from radiation let's suppose that we somehow managed to pass through this area at a safe distance from supernova explosions that are common in such regions of space it would still only get worse from there we'd fall into the clutches of the supermassive black hole because there's no way we could bypass it even at a distance of 20 billion kilometers this monster pulls everything inward at a speed of 25 million kilometers per hour the path would lie through a dense cloud of gas and dust the debris of stars, which would probably blow the Earth into pieces before being swallowed by the black hole. Music, therefore, it is best that we remain in our peaceful and comfortable arm of Orion and use telescopes to study the Milky Way center. However, for a very long time, scientists were unable to penetrate the dense cloud of gas and dust. So the existence of the supermassive black hole lurking in the center of the galaxy could only be confirmed theoretically. Observations also revealed that a tremendously enormous object at the center of the galaxy attracts stars. But the only images we have of the black hole are computer simulations. A formidable event horizon telescope was built by 300 scientists from 80 different scientific institutes worldwide. It linked eight radio observatories to form a single visual telescope the size of the Earth. But this was only the start of the search for the star Sagittarius to comprehend all the complexities. Let's return to the black hole in the M87 galaxy. Its mass is 6.5 billion solar masses, and its accretion disk rotates around its center over the course of several days or weeks. The accretion disk of Sagittarius, the star, is much smaller, and its orbital period is only a few minutes. So the brightness and structure of the black hole's halo change at an incredible rate, making it impossible for astronomers to take a picture of Sagittarius, the star. To overcome this, scientists developed new, highly sophisticated algorithms and programs, then spent weeks gathering data on the black hole. The information they collected was processed using a supercomputer, yielding a stunning image of the massive black hole. But this part of the Milky Way continues to surprise scientists. The telescope's range of vision is expanded by dozens of antennas, and after 144 hours of observations on Meerkat and 70 gigabytes of processed data, astronomers were able to construct this never-before-seen image. If radio waves could be seen, this is how the center of our galaxy would appear. 
It's an incredibly detailed image, with each object remaining somewhat mysterious. This is a spherical supernova explosion, and to the right of it is an object that astronomers are still unable to identify. It appears to be a comet with a bright tail, but it is not a comet. This image depicts a much larger and more bizarre object. Giant magnetic tentacles extending from the center of the Milky Way. Scientists believe this to be a stream of ionized gases rushing into space from the depths of Sagittarius, a star. Another interesting tailed radio source is also visible nearby. It probably moves at an extremely high speed and leaves a trail behind it. The mysterious filaments were first discovered in the 1980s, and the new Meerkat image uncovered thousands of new ones, which is 10 times more than previously discovered. Finding these cosmic wires was a difficult task because they strongly merge with other objects in the center of the galaxy. But Meerkat can detect synchrotron radiation or radio waves generated by the movement of charged particles at near light speed combined with software imaging processing. Astronomers believe these peculiar cosmic wires stretch for 150 light years. These tentacles resemble threads arranged in pairs or groups, like strings on a harp. Astronomers named these formations after terrestrial creatures, including pelicans, mice, and snakes, thanks to superior technology that eventually made it feasible to capture the threads on camera. However, the genesis of this cosmic menagerie is still a mystery. The filaments, which are entangled with starbursts and supernova explosions, might have been formed by the magnetic fields of excited gases leaving the black hole. These 1,400 light-year arrays extend from the black hole in opposite directions, for forming two halves of an hourglass with the black hole at its narrowest point. The thread-filled bubbles look like finely woven, exquisite pieces of cosmic art, and they probably appeared millions of years ago as a result of a severe cosmic cataclysm. It turns out that the galactic filaments are enclosed in cocoons two giant bubbles that emit radio emissions. Astronomers speculate about a number of possible outcomes. Regardless of what occurred, the disaster was massive in scope, causing a massive surge of energy that pierced the interstellar medium and gave rise to gas bubbles. A score that rose after the simultaneous explosion of many stars could have filled this region of space with a huge amount of energy or a black hole swallowed nearby stars too fast and let some of the gases out. These structures are similar to little soap bubbles compared to giant Fermi bubbles, which were discovered in 2010 and stretch above and below the galactic center by up to 50,000 light years. They are millions of times more massive than the Sun and, 10 years later, with the aid of the Wisconsin H Alpha Mapper Telescope, emit gamma rays at a higher energy level than the Milky Way. The electrons inside them are still in an excited state, and when combined with the surrounding magnetic fields, they emit radio waves. With the addition of additional data, astronomers gained further understanding of the Fermi bubbles. They discovered ions within the bubbles that originated from a powerful light flash that occurred approximately 3.5 million years ago, yet the gas within the bubbles is still approximately 8,500 Kelvin. In 2020, the Arosita telescope found another pair of bubbles. These bubbles are both hourglass-shaped and visible in the X-ray band. Scientists aim to test models of the Fermi bubbles against observations. According to Andrew Fox of the Space Telescope Science Institute in Maryland, there are two possible explanations for the appearance of the bubbles. Either the black hole Sagittarius, a star, sucked in a massive cloud of hydrogen and then released a huge amount of energy, or both events occurred simultaneously. In the latter scenario, the flash would have had unprecedented power and lit up the entire galaxy like a Christmas tree. Astronomers hope to confirm this version soon. The image here compares the Fermi and Erosita bubbles, which appear to be fairly similar. Meanwhile, another group of scientists is attempting to provide an explanation for a cosmic event that is already bordering on mysticism. In 2021, Astronomers detected unusual radio signals coming from the center of our galaxy using the ESCAP radio telescope in Australia. The signals were sporadic, lasting 15 minutes a day for a few weeks before the faint galactic signals vanished and were later detected once more by the Meerkat radio telescope. 
Six signals were found by astronomers in the first nine months of 2020. Astronomers were astounded by the high polarization of space signals, which indicates that the electrical signal of radio waves was limited to one direction. Scientists searched for explanations and took into consideration pulsars, which are rapidly rotating neutron stars. What's strange is that their radio frequency didn't match any frequency known to science. Although pulsars are strongly magnetized astronomical objects that generate radio waves, the signals that were not understood did not fit the description of such things. Since the radio spectrum of magnetars differs significantly from that of the galactic center, astronomers have concluded that these signals originate from a new class of stellar objects that science has yet to fully understand. The phenomenon shares certain characteristics with other unexplained signals. Radio transients in the galactic center we've identified three of these signals in the 2000s, but the source of the GCRTs is also poorly understood, so it's still too early to discuss whether they are all coming from space. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and hit the like button. For more updates on amazing things happening in the universe, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.